with a good health. In this video lecture, we will discuss about the nomenclature of hydrocarbons and I have chosen just about alkanes. First of all, what is alkyl group? What is alkyl group? If we have any alkane, any alkane and we remove one hydrogen from alkane, one hydrogen from alkane, then it forms alkyl group. It forms alkyl group. For example, we have methane CH4 and if we remove one hydrogen from CH4, it becomes CH3. CH3. And it is methane. It is methane. And when we remove one hydrogen from alkane, it forms alkyl group and here it is methyl. Methyl. Just keep in mind, when we form any alkyl group, we just uh, replace A and E of alkane with YL. Another example, if we have ethane, CH3, single bond CH3, it's ethane. And I am going to remove one hydrogen from this CH3 group. Now it forms CH3, CH2. It's ethyl. It's ethyl. Now look it again that A and E is being replaced by YL. It is the easiest name that in which we just replace A and E of alkane with YL. And how alkyl group is formed when we replace, sorry, when we remove one hydrogen from alkane, it forms alkyl group. And mostly we show alkyl group with a capital R. Capital R in hydrocarbons just uh, represent the alkyl group. And it may be uh, methyl, ethyl, propyl, butyl, and so on. Now going toward the nomenclature of alkane. Nomenclature of alkane. The first rule of the nomenclature of alkane is the selection of longest chain. First rule is to select the longest chain. Longest chain in hydrocarbon. In hydro carbon. For example, we have a molecule CH3, CH2, CH, CH2, and CH3, and here is CH3. In this case, there are two main chains. I am going to mark both of them. First chain is here and second chain is here. Now count the number of carbons. Here are just four carbon atoms. Four carbon atoms. And in this chain, we are looking that here are five carbon atoms. So according to first rule, we will prefer this chain. It does not matter that how it is done, how it is going uh, straight, just we have to keep in mind that there should be large number of carbon atoms. So in this case, this will be parent chain of hydrocarbon. Another example, CH3, CH3, CH2, CH, CH3, and here is CH2, and here is CH3. Now look at this molecule. If I mark the longest chain, there is one possibility. And there is another possibility that here are the maximum number of carbon atoms. In this case, you can see there are four carbons that are linking by catenation. And in this case, five carbons are linking with each other. 
and we are ignoring that how this chain is straight or it is broad. In this case, that here are large number of carbon atoms. So we will again prefer this chain. First chain will not be selected as a parent chain. Second chain will be selected as a parent chain because it has greater number of carbon atoms. Next, assign the number to carbon atoms. Second rule is assign the numbers to carbon atoms where from where sorry from where substituents should get minimum substituent should get minimum now looking the above examples what are substituents actually substituents are the branches or those groups which are attached with the parent genes in this case, this CH3 is a substituent, and in this case, this CH3 is a substituent. Now, we have to give number to the parent chain of hydrocarbon, and keep in mind that we have to give the uh, lowest possible number to any alkyl group or substituent. In this case, if I give numbers from uh, this side, 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5 are from this side 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 now we are looking that the substituent is attached on third carbon in both cases so here is the possibility of numbering from both sides another example CH3, CH2, CH, CH3 and here is CH3 now in this example it is the longest chain and if we give number from this carbon first, second, third and fourth in this case this substrate is getting number three and if we give numbers from this carbon first, second, third and fourth from this side this CH3 is getting number two so from this side the numbering will be preferred because substituent is getting minimum number. The next uh, rule is assign the position to a substituent, assign the position to a substituent and give name to substituent and at the end you have to name the parent chain. Assign position to a substituent and name it then name the parent chain Now, in these cases, if I give name to this uh, uh, hydrocarbon, here numbering can be possible from both sides because we are looking that the substituent is on carbon 3. So, how we name it? First of all, assign the position to substituent. It is present on carbon 3, right 3. What is the name of that substituent? It's methyl. 3 methyl. And how many carbons are present in the parent chain? There are 5 carbons in the parent chain. 
So its name will be three methyl pentane. Three methyl pentane. It is also three methyl pentane. In this case, the numbering is uh, possible from this side. It's one, two, three, and four. C three is present on carbon two. Now, first of all, assign the position to substituent. Then name that substituent. It's methyl group. Two methyl. And at the end, name the parent chain. The parent chain contains four carbon atoms, so it is butane. Two methyl butane. If we have uh, multiple substituents in parent chain, then we will use if those substituents are similar. Then we will use di, tri, tetra, penta, and so on. And if we have different substituents starting from a different name, then we will keep uh, uh, their order by alphabetically and give name to that molecule. Let's we have some examples of such type of molecules. Now I am going to erase the first tool. In case of the fourth rule about similar substituents, in case of similar substituents.
substitute your answer. If we have different substitutions, then we will arrange them according to alphabet. We will uh, keep uh, their order in alphabetically. So, for example, it is CH3, CH2, CH2, CH3, CH2, CH, CH3, and here is CH3. Now, first of all, check the longest chain. Here is the longest chain. You can also select this longest chain. If I have chosen this uh, longest chain, then second rule is to give the number to a carbon. Now, if I number from this side, the carbon, third carbon will have the substrate. And from this side, second carbon has the substrate. Then we will prefer from those side, from that side, from where the substituent get minimum number, so carbon 1, carbon 2, carbon 3, carbon 4, 5, and 6. This number will be accurate. And it's methyl and it is methyl group. Now, according to alphabetically order, E comes first and M is a letter. So, we will first write ethyl group. First of all, write its position 4. What is its name? It's ethyl group. 4 ethyl. Then write the position of second substrates that methyl 2 methyl. And at the end, write the name of the parent chain. This parent chain contains 6 carbon, so it's hexane. It's hexane. If we have different substrate, then we have to maintain their order according to alphabetically. And in this case, we also can use di, tri, and tetra for similar substrates. Next, I am going to discuss uh, different, uh, more examples of nomenclature. Students now moving toward solution of some examples of uh, alkane. In this case, the first molecule has uh, almost four carbon. Now we have to apply all the rules step by step. First case, we have to select the longest chain in this molecule. In this molecule, it is the longest chain. And from both sides, we are looking that second carbon has a substrate. So we can give number from this side, three. It is present on second carbon. So mention the position of that carbon is second. And what is this? It's methyl. How many carbon are there in parent chain? There are three carbon, so it's methyl propane. Methyl propane. In second molecule, first of all, select the longest chain. If I go straight, there are five carbon atoms. And if I select this chain, there also will be five carbon. It's your choice which chain you want to select. I am going to select the straight chain. If I mark the number from this side, third carbon has substituted. And from this side, there is also third carbon. So from this side, first, second, third, fourth, and fifth. Third carbon has substituted and it's ethyl. So first of all, mention the position of the substituents. It's present on carbon 3. And which substituent is that it's ethyl, 3 ethyl. And how many carbon atoms are there? There are five carbon atoms, so it's three ethyl pentane. Three ethyl pentane. Now moving to our next molecule. Again, we have to select the longest chain. In this case, uh, it is the prominent chain that is the longest one. And uh, now, uh, second rule is to have, is to give the smallest number 
to a substrate and from this side substrate is present on carbon 3 and from this side substrate, substrate is present on carbon 2 so we will prefer this side first, second, three, third, fourth, fifth, sixth and seventh. Now there are two types of substrate, it's methyl and it's methyl and it's ethyl. According to alphabetically we have to write first ethyl group so uh, mention its position, it's present on carbon 4, 4, ethyl, then there are two similar substrates and those are uh, methyl groups. So first of all mention the position of first methyl group, it's second and second uh, methyl group is present on carbon 5, 2, 5, 2 methyl groups are here. So 2,5-dimethyl and parent chain has 7 carbons so it's heptane it is heptane in this case we have to follow all the rules we have to arrange the different substituents on the basis of their alphabetical order and we also have to use di, tri or tet or something else. In case of fourth example, again we have to select the longest chain and uh, here is the prominent longest chain. From this side, substrate is present from carbon 2 and from this side, substrate is also present from carbon 2. Here is the problem. Now we have to assign the number from that side where uh, number of substrates are greater so this side has greater number of substrates and this side has lesser number of substrates getting minimum number so numbering will be from this side first, second, third, fourth and fifth and all substrates are methyl group so mention the positions of all methyl groups two methyl groups are present on carbon 2 mention both as a 2, 2 and one methyl group is present on carbon 3, 2, 2, 3 and fourth methyl group is present on carbon 4, 2, 2, 3, 4. How many uh, methyl groups are there? There are four methyl groups so it will be 2, 2, 3, 4 tetramethyl, 2, 2, 3, 4 tetramethyl. And how many carbons are there in parent chain? There are 5 carbons, so it's pentane. It's pentane. Now moving to our next example. In this case, first of all, you have to write it in structural formula. We can write it as C, CH3 bond CH3 here is CH3 CH2 C CH3 CH3 and CH3 this thrice means that 3 CH3 groups are attached with this carbon atom so we can write it in open form now we have to select the longest chain it is the longest chain present in this hydrocarbon and uh, numbering from this side first, second, third, fourth, fifth. Now assign the position to substrate and all substrates are methyl group. On carbon 2 there are two methyl groups so writing 2 and 2. On carbon 4 there are more two methyl groups 4 and 4. Actually, there are total four methyl groups, so we will write tetramethyl. Tetramethyl. And the parent chain has five carbon atoms, so it's tetramethyl pentane. In this case, again, we have to write its open structure. We have to write its structural formula one carbon is attached with one hydrogen atom and there are three benzene rings first benzene ring 
second benzene ring and third benzene ring i hope that it's visible to all of you now we have to select the longest chain actually these three rings are acting here as a substituent and our hydrocarbon has main one carbon and that acting as a parent chain so it's just methane it is just methane and this methane is substituted with three benzene ring so we can name it as tri phenyl tri phenyl tri phenyl methane now moving to seventh example in this again we have to select the longest chain and it is the longest chain in this hydrocarbon next we have to assign number to carbon present in parent chain from that side where substituent get minimum number and this is the side from where this substituent get minimum number second third fourth and fifth now write the positions of substituent we are looking that first substituent is present on carbon 2 and second is present on carbon 3 so it will be as 2 3 2 3 dimethyl 2 3 dimethyl and parent chain contains five number of carbons so it's pentane it's pentane in this case this three is showing that ch2 is actually in the form of series three ch2 groups are here in the form of series we have to write it in open form it will be ch3 ch2 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 and ch3 and we know that the molecule having five carbons then it will be pentane there is no substitution of any group so it is a parent chain and there is a no any issue of numbering of carbon atom here again we have to select the longest chain and it's three carbon chain second carbon has two substituent two c three substituent so we have to write their position two two and both substituents are methyl so two to dimethyl two to dimethyl propane i hope that you have learned the whole nomenclature iupac nomenclature with efficiency and effectively if you have any question regarding nomenclature you may ask in comment section and you can also uh, watch you can share my videos uh, in description links thank you and don't forget to subscribe my channel allah hafiz